Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a different setup today. I'm in my lounge room slash dining area and I do have a little friend here with me. So her name is Ellie and she's really hypo. So I apologize if you can hear her in the background. So this is my little Jack Russell slash Parsons Terrier and she's three years old. She's my little baby, my little fur baby. And I just love her so much. So this is Ellie. Ellie, come say hi. Say hi to everyone. No, well, she's a bit shy on camera but behind the scenes she's so crazy so if my voice sounds a little bit off it's because I'm overcoming a cold I've had this cold for the past week and I just really wanted to film a video so I apologize in advance for my voice or if I sound a bit off anyway I just wanted to film this video and talk about what I think of the Chanel card wallet or card holder I think it's called the card holder I'm not too sure they do have a different version which I do own as well so it's this one here so this is technically a card holder whereas this is more like a wallet because it opens up but it is still really compact so the one that I have is in the black caviar leather with gold hardware and this is the updated version so you know it's an updated version because it does have a back pocket here so that little Mona Lisa smile at the back there at the front here we've just got a snap button closure so just open it like that and when you flip it open you've got the Chanel gold foil at the top there and you've got a slip pocket at the front so you can put like your ID or your most used credit card at the front. And then when you open the compartment, it's got that gorgeous Blood Ox burgundy colour inside that come with all the classic Chanel flaps. So I just love that colour. This is in textile lining though. So with the Chanel classic flap bags, they're actually in lambskin leather. So they're really soft leather. Whereas because this is a card holder, I guess they've just opted to use just textile lining because it is a lot more affordable compared to the handbags so we've just got that in there there's no actual pocket inside it's just a one open compartment but it does have like a gusseted side so you can fit quite a lot inside and then at the very back there it just has the made in stamp so this one says made in france and if you're looking for the serial number it is just on the front pocket so in the slip pocket just on the left hand side if you're looking at it front on so just on this side here so yeah that's pretty much it with the chanel card holder i'm going to call it the card wallet because when i say card holder i'm going to think of this one or i'm sure you guys think of this one too so in this video i'll be sharing with you guys what fits inside how much you can hold pros and cons and also some mod shots with it as a little belt bag or a bum bag or a handbag because i did a post on my instagram a while ago about how i made it into like a bum bag and a lot of you guys asked me how I did it or what I used. But firstly, let's get into what this card wallet fits. So I've got a total of 15 cards here. So all like credit cards, gift cards, loyalty cards, all stacked up. And this actually fits inside, not comfortably though. So it is quite snug. So I'll put all the cards in there. It's quite messy, like it's quite stuffed to the brim. And yeah, as you can see, the gussets are quite wide. But you'll see that it does actually close just with a bit of force but i honestly would not recommend doing that because you will stretch out the leather particularly if you have the lambskin version of this it is more supple it's softer so it will stretch out a lot more so i wouldn't recommend doing that as you can see the gusset here is okay but here it's kind of the cards are pushing it out so i wouldn't recommend feeling it that much you can kind of divide it and put some cards at the front and also at the back here so i might do that so that's what one two three four five six six seven eight nine ten cards and pop that in there so that you can actually filter through all the cards much easier when there's ten cards in there and it closes a lot more comfortably and it's not bulging on the side as you can see both gussets are pushed in so I've got ten cards in the main compartment two at the front and then one at the back so often I might put my train ticket or some sort of like a parking ticket at the back here where I need easy access so I don't have to constantly open and close the snap button closure just to access it. So I've just got the one card there. I'll see if another card fits. So it does, but again, I probably wouldn't fit that much more in the back pocket just because I don't want it to stretch and then potentially fall out if I overstretch it too much. So one card at the back is fine. Two cards at the front and then 10 cards in the main compartment so 13 cards in total that's quite generous i do also have two notes here so you can also put cash you just have to fold it in half and i'll just put that at the back and it does kind of stand up a little bit there because it is stuffed with cards whereas if i didn't have those cards like kind of pushing it up i'll take those cards out and just show you 
So as you can see, it kind of like fits in a little bit better because you don't have all the space taken up by all the cards. So that actually closes really well. But let's just put all the cards back in. So if you wanted to put all those cards in plus cash, you'll just have to fold it twice. So into like thirds, I guess. And just pop it at the back and that fits in fine. And because it is just notes, like cash is really thin. So it's not going to take up that much more space. You can also put coins, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it because it just gets a lot messier. But just say if you were paying with cash and you had some coins. So I'll take some coins out of my coin purse. Just say you had some change left over, you gave like... A note and then you had some change you can just quickly throw it in there if you wanted to so it's just at the back there and obviously because coins are a lot thicker they're a lot heavier too it will take up a lot more space in the card holder but if you're just in a rush and you just need to throw your coin somewhere you don't have any pockets you can just throw it in here and that works perfectly too as you can see there is a bit more bulging so i wouldn't recommend that for long term but for temporary purposes and you just needed somewhere to put it the card wallet actually fits it. Whereas I know with the card holder, you can't really put the coins anywhere. You can put the cash in the slip pocket at the top, but coins, not really. And because there's no zipper or snap button closure, it's not really secure if you were to like pop coins in the front there. So yeah, that's another good thing with the snap button closure. It is secure. So if you have the coins in there, it's not gonna fall out because you've got it closed securely there. So yeah, that's everything that the Chanel card wallet can hold. Now I'll share with you guys what I think are the pros and cons of this card wallet. So let's start with the pros. So firstly, I love that it's really compact. It's really small. It's just like the size of a card holder. So you'll see them side by side like that. They're pretty much like the same length. So I really love that it's really compact. It fits in a lot of small bags and you can also use it as like a wallet too because as I showed you earlier, you can fit all those cards as well as cash and coins. So the second pro is that it's an absolute classic. You can't go wrong with a Chanel black and gold piece. And I honestly purchased this just so I can match with my Chanel medium large classic flat bag. So how cute are these together? It's like a baby version and a mummy version. So I love pairing these two together. So because it is a classic piece, you can find it all year round. You don't have to worry about it being a seasonal piece. I know all the colored versions are seasonal, but if you want the black and gold, it's a classic piece, so you can find it any time of the year, but it is really difficult to find, so I will get into that in my cons portion. But yeah, for now, it's a pro because it's an absolute classic and it will never go out of style. So the third pro is that it has a back pocket, and I know it may not seem like a big deal, but once you start using this, you know how much of a difference it makes. Rather than constantly opening up the snap button closure all the time, you can just access the card that you have at the back really easily. It's also really secure, so it goes all the way to the bottom, so you don't have to worry about it falling out, unless of course you stretch out the leather. But if you just put the one card that you use constantly at the back there, it just makes a world of difference and it just makes your life a lot easier. So I think that's a huge pro and I'll definitely recommend getting one with the back pocket. So the fourth pro is that it can hold a lot for a card holder or a card wallet. As you saw earlier, I could fit up to 13 cards comfortably as well as cash inside too. So no other card holder can hold that much. Like this one, for example, I think holds like six or seven cards at most. So this holds like double the amount. It also holds coins. So the fifth pro is that it can be used in multiple different ways. So I know that the belt bag or the bum bag trend is still in right now. And I can convert this into like a crossbody bag or like a shoulder bag or a bum bag style. So stay tuned. I will show you that a bit later, but because it does have like that snap button closure, you can link a chain underneath and use it as like a little handbag if you really wanted to, or if you wanted to be on trend and just take photos with it, I guess. It's not very practical as a handbag, but I mean, if you have your cards and cash inside and your phone and your keys in your pocket, that'll work. But yeah, I'll show you that a bit later, but yeah, that's the fifth pro. So now let's get into some of the cons of the Chanel card wallet because there are some cons with this. So the first con is kind of like, contradicting myself with the first pro in that it's not that compact. It is compact enough in that it fits in all of my handbags, even the small nano or mini ones, but it does take up a lot of space. So by it being not compact enough, what I mean is that because of the thickness of it, you'll see it is quite thick because you've got that gusseted sides as well as the snap button closure fold at the front. It's not as compact as a typical card holder. So as you can see, there's like a huge difference in width and it's probably about double or probably even yeah i'd say probably double of the card holder so i've got a few examples here 
So as you know, I do have my Chanel classic flap here, medium large size, and I'll show you what I mean. So putting this card wallet inside here, you can see it takes up quite, probably like half the size. I do have like an insert, a smaller insert in there too, but you can see it does take up a lot of space comparing it to the card wallet. This is super flat. It doesn't take up much space at all. You've still got all this room at the back there. I also have my Chanel Square Mini here to show you as an example. So I've got the card holder that's really flat and that fits in perfectly. So I've still got a lot of space to put other things. Whereas if I was to use the card wallet, you'll see that it just takes up a lot of space. Like again, half of the space is taken up by just the wallet. So I find I don't have as much room or wiggle room to work with when I am using this card wallet. It just doesn't really work for mini bags. It fits as I mentioned, but it just, it's not very practical to use this because it is quite thick and bulgy. So that's unfortunately a con in this instance. So the second con, so someone wants to say hi now. <laughs> So I apologize if you see her head popping up, but she's just sitting in front of me now. She's hypo again. So the second con, as I was saying, is the price point of it. So this, I think, retails for 790 Australian dollars, which is, I think, what I paid for last year. I can't remember. I can't find the receipt, but I'm pretty sure it was around that range anyway. It didn't go up too much. I think it's the Chanel handbags that always increase so much in value over the years, whereas the card wallets and the SLGs don't really go up too much over the years they might in like two years time but not every year and now she's decided to sit on my lap okay anyway back to this second con as i mentioned the price point so it is 790 australian dollars currently and i think it was that back then maybe it was 760 it was around that ballpark anyway but almost 800 dollars for a card holder essentially that's a lot of money you can definitely get a proper wallet from designer houses for that much like i think the louis vuitton Victorine wallet is $760 and that actually it's probably com it's compact too so it's about the same size maybe a bit taller but it does fold open into like a tri-fold wallet and you can fit cash comfortably you don't have to fold it it has a section for your coins so I would recommend going down that route rather than this unless you absolutely want this and love this then I guess by all means but if you're looking for like a practical functional wallet that's worth the money. I think that different designer houses do much better value for money in that case. This is purely just like a card holder. There's no actual organization to it at all except for that slip pocket. So the third con is something that I touched on previously and it's the availability. So as I mentioned, it is a classic piece so you can find it all year round but the con is that it's not really available that easily like if you go into the boutique it's very rare that they'll have it in stock i was very lucky in that they had this in stock i think they had two in stock when i went in but i'd been hunting it for a really long time and i had been trying to look for it on the pre-loved market but as you know with everything chanel these days everything on the pre-loved market is just jacked up so so much so i didn't want to pay a premium i was very tempted to pay premium but i just held out and just kept trying to go into the boutiques. Yeah, I just got really lucky that day and I found it in store. So unfortunately that's a con. It's not easily available to everyone. Other than those three, I think they're the only cons with this card wallet. It's still held up really, really well. There's no scuffing. The quilts are really puffy still. And it is in that caviar leather, so it's gonna hold up a lot better. But I can't really speak for the lambskin, but I imagine the lambskin one, it would have like an imprint because with this card slot here, this, I guess, little bump, when you do close it, it does kind of like rest against the flap there. So I guess over time with the lambskin one, it may leave an imprint like a line there. But because this is caviar, it's really durable. It's that pebbled leather. So you don't have to worry about leaving marks or anything. I guess over time, there is some wrinkling here because you're constantly opening and closing it. But that's normal and that's a given because it is leather. And when you close it off, there's no wrinkling at all. It's only when you open it but I don't really consider that a con or wear and tear. It's just common and that's essentially what will happen with leather pieces. So yeah, those are the pros and cons of the Chanel card wallet. Now let's get into the exciting part and I'll share with you guys how I can style it and how you can style it if you have this too. So firstly is my favorite way of styling it and that's with the gold chain that I have from Organize My Bag. I will leave a link to this down below. I do have a 10% discount code if you want to use. But this is just gorgeous. I think this only retails for like 
forty dollars, maybe fifty Australian dollars. But it's absolutely gorgeous, and I think this is in the small size. They have different lengths, so if you want to wear it as a crossbody or have it even shorter, they have an extra small, small, medium, and large. I think. But as you can see, it's got the two lobster clasps there. So what I do is just essentially link the two together like that, and it becomes a giant loop. And all you do is get your card wallet, open it up, and the gold actually matches the gold perfectly. It's really nice. And I love this one. It's the oval link chain. So I love how it just glistens in the light. It just reflects everything. And it's so beautiful. So this is my favorite by far from Organize My Bag. So I'll link it through here. So you take your card wallet, you link it underneath like that. So make sure that the lobster clasps are in the middle there. So it's kind of hidden. And then you just close off the card wallet. And then you've just made yourself a little handbag. So it matches with my Chanel classic flap so nicely. Obviously it doesn't have the leather interwoven in between the chain, but I mean, it's still a really classy piece. And I'll put it over my shoulder to show you what it looks like. It just looks like that. It's really cute. Just like that. And because this chain is a little bit shorter, so this is the small size, it doesn't really go over as a crossbody too much, but I mean, if you wanted to have that cold like bum bag look, you've got it there like that. So you can just wear it like that, which is really cute. I also got this strap here from my Louis Vuitton Palm Strings Mini and Ellie wants to play as well. I'll play with you in a little bit, Ellie. So this one here, I have this from my Louis Vuitton Palm Strings Mini, as I mentioned, and I've just set it to the second hole. It's got the two lobster clasps there, so you just snap them together like that. So you've just got one giant loop. And again, you just pop it underneath the flap there, so the lobster clasps are underneath so you can't see it. And then you just close it off like that. And then you've made yourself like a little belt bag or like a bum bag so I'll pop that over my shoulder so this is what it looks like and I think that is so cool like just having a belt bag like that and that is so on trend right now like just having something across your chest like that and also Ellie too <laughs> so I think that is so cool it's so on trend right now and it just actually looks like a handbag like a proper handbag that you purchased from Chanel so if you do have the Palm Springs mini backpack or another handbag with a black leather strap you can alter this and make this into like a crossbody bum bag like that. I did try and make it into like a belt bag, but unfortunately it doesn't extend that short. So I can't actually put this around my waist. It won't actually sit properly on my waist. It's too loose, like it's too big. But if you had something else that you could cinch it in with, or if you could actually attach your belt to it, if you had like a thin belt, you could probably use it as a belt bag. Like how cute would that be? So I've just popped it on. Obviously it's a bit too big, but if I was to like cinch it in somehow, how cute is that? Especially with like a sport wear, like I've got leggings and just like a shirt like this or like a jumper like this. I think that is so cool. Just going to like the grocery store, just going for walks. You can just pop in your cards, your most used cards, even just like a house key in there. And that's really all you really need on a walk or if you're going to the grocery store. So I think that's super, super cute and super versatile. So there's a lot of different ways you can wear the chanel classic flap card holder you just have to be creative and i love finding different ways to utilize all my smaller goods and handbags because they are expensive pieces and you want to get the most cost per wear down on them so i definitely think all the different ways you can use the card wallet is super versatile and i definitely recommend it the only thing is that you have to be careful with when you're obviously using chains and like the hardware rubbing against it because obviously it's not meant to be used as a bag so it's not meant to have like a chain constantly rubbing against it so I would only recommend it on certain occasions, like just temporary use. I wouldn't constantly use it as a handbag unless you're completely fine with the wear on it. I would recommend just taking it out every now and again and just making sure you're not leaving the chain around it or like the strap around it when you're not using it. But I think for every now and again, I think it's a really cute way to utilize and get your cost per wear down on the Chanel card wallet. But yeah, that's my review video of the Chanel card wallet in the black caviar leather with gold hardware. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back for future videos. I have a lot more content like this planned, so stay tuned for that. And I have little Ellie here who wants to say goodbye too. So Ellie here also wants to say bye to everyone. Say bye, Ellie. Bye.
<laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye